Typical procedures or typical methods for welding stainless steel pipe or tubing has been with the gas tunk snark welding process, which involves the use of a purge on the inside of the pipe. That purge takes a fair amount of time to get rid of all the air on the inside of the pipe, and the cost associated with the shielding gas can be significant. Today we're going to demonstrate an alternative. It's RMD, which stands for Regulated Metal Deposition. The RMD process is a modified short circuit that actually eliminates the need for backing gas because it creates a very calm, stable puddle. That's what allows the shielding gas to escape through the root opening and cover the backside. This feature has allowed pipe fabricators to certify processes without a back purge in some austenitic stainless applications. Let's go through five key features to keep in mind while welding stainless steel with non-backing gas using the RMD process. The first thing to keep in mind is going to be the cleanliness of the joint. We recommend taking a flapper reel or a pencil grinder and cleaning both the inside and the outside diameter at least one inch away from the surface of the weld. The next thing is going to be the root opening and the joint configuration. We recommend using a 75 degree included angle with a knife edge with at least an eighth inch, preferably a 532nd root opening. This root opening allows the filler material as well as the shielding gas to get through to the inside diameter of the pipe. It's important to keep that root opening because stainless steel as you weld has a tendency to get tighter and the RMD process really favors a larger root opening. The type of filler material is also important. We recommend using a high silicon filler material such as a 308 LSI or a 316 LSI wire. The shielding gas is another primary component and we recommend using a Tri-H blend which stands for 90% helium, 7.5 argon, 2.5% CO2. As an alternative, we could also use 98 argon 2% CO2 shielding gas. The final thing to keep in mind is going to be the contact tip and the nozzle that you're going to be using. We recommend the Bernard Pipeworks gun with the 3 8 tapered nozzle. This helps localize the shielding gas and focus it to just the weld pool. As you can see here, we were able to make the weld without any oxides forming on the back side of the joint. Although this, this method for welding stainless steel pipe and tubing is widely accepted in the power generation, the petrochemical, those sorts of industries where it would not be acceptable is in food grade or very high purity applications, there a TIG root with a back purge is considered an industry standard. Keeping these five things in mind, you should be able to significantly increase your productivity by eliminating the need for back purge while welding stainless pipe or tubing. For information on this and other welding processes, please see MillerWelds.com.